My name is Alex Magaisa, and I just wanted to say a few words on the occasion of Morgan Changrai's funeral. There can be no doubt in my mind that Morgan Changrai is a hero. Even if some people don't think he is, he is a hero to me, and I do believe that there are a lot of people who also regard him as a hero. Heroes are not decided in boardrooms. Heroes are decided by the work they do during their lifetime. So today I'm going to talk about inspection of the voters' roll. The voters' roll is an important document in the electoral process because it determines whether or not you will be allowed to vote. If your name does not appear on the voters' roll, then you will not be allowed to vote. Now, you may think that, well, I'm already registered, therefore I'm going to be able to vote on polling day. Well, that may be so, but in some cases you'll be surprised when you walk up to the polling station that your name does not appear on the voters' roll for that polling station, either because you have been moved to another polling station or indeed to another constituency without your knowledge. So it's very important to inspect the voters' roll to make sure that you are registered at the correct polling station and that your name appears on the voters' roll for that polling station and that constituency. There are a number of things that people need to know about the voters' roll. The first thing is that the voters' roll is not a state secret. It's a public document. The law calls it a public document, which should be available for inspection by citizens free of charge. You just have to walk up to the offices of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission and you should be able to inspect the voters' roll and to take notes if you wish to do so. You are also allowed, if you have enough money to pay the prescribed fee, to take a copy of the voters' roll.